Spokane's homelessness crisis took center stage at the latest mayoral debate between Mayor Nadine Woodward and Lisa Brown. Tonight at 6.30, Marissa Rio is here to share how each candidate plans to solve the issue. Tensions rose during today's heated debate, and it didn't take long for the attacks to begin. Take a look. I, I believe the Trent shelter was the biggest single mistake uh, of this administration, and I do not think it's an adequate facility uh, for the unhoused population. I think it's been a money pit. She added that the shelter's first operator fraudulently misused taxpayers' funds. Trent brings in 300 plus people every single night and off the street. Um, it is operated by Salvation Army. Our findings into the former operators of Guardians found no city dollars were misused. It was an IRS issue that they had had. Brown said we can do better. Um, the city owns a facility called Cannon Street and it's closed. So there are ways to create a more dispersed model, certainly not hundreds of people in one location, and actually uh, utilize Spokane taxpayers' dollars more effectively and efficiently. Woodward and Brown also disagreed on Prop 1, a ballot measure that will ban homeless camping within 1,000 feet from schools. This is a no brainer. This is common sense. Listen, we, we, we looked at what Camp Hope did for 18 months, a thousand feet from Libby School. And those parents of those children were terrified when their kids went to school every single day. Brown, who doesn't support the measure, said that the houseless population needs places to stay and they need peer navigators to help them. In their closing statements, Woodward said Brown's policies are dangerous. And Brown critiqued Woodward, saying, look how bad things are. The community will have a chance to vote on Spokane's mayor this November. Reporting in studio, Marissa Rio for News Now.